Hey guys, it's Gary from g, &G Electronics. Uh, today, I'm going to be um, building a uh, LM7812 CV um, voltage regulator. And, well, I'm not going to be building the regulator, but the, you know, the board for it. Um, so that you can actually use the regulator. This is just a generic board. You can get these on uh, eBay or AliExpress or anything like that. It's just a ACN, goes through a rectifier, goes into a, um, a smoothing cap, which then goes into the regulator, comes out of the regulator into a larger smoothing cap, and then to the output pins. Um, it has an LED output to tell you that there's power on it, and it has one resistor for the uh, LED so it doesn't pop. So uh, I'm going to build this for you right now. Um, and let's start out, let's build the uh, rectifier first. So let me grab some, some diodes. Yeah, I build these in bulk. Um, that's why I have all of this right here. I sell quite a few of these on my on my website. So let's just get these LEDs. I mean the uh, LEDs. Diodes all prepped. And we'll pop them in the board. All right, and right on the board, um, it tells you what direction your diodes go in. So you don't <laughs> you don't even have to think about it. Yes, I shut that off. Oh, are you still doing it? Yes, I am recording right now. So I shut that off so that I can concentrate on doing this. Somebody in the background bothering me right now. I can't even concentrate. So anyways, I got the, di I got the diodes in. And... You guys ever use this blue stuff? This blue like um, Play-Doh? Works wonderful. Holds all your components in place. It actually gives you a little bit of heat dissipation too if you put too much heat to her. And uh, really works nice. Let me clean my tip up there a little bit. And we'll get the soldering up here. Get in there. Oh, it's out of solder. glass here and make sure nothing's touching and we're golden all right so let's throw on the AC input and uh, you notice how I only do one or two components at a time I don't load the board up um, I've seen some guys on YouTube before that you know, populate like half the freaking board and then solder it. And it, it comes out looking like a mess. All right, that's all set. Uh, let's pop in this resistor. Need one resistor. I might as well get the LED out. LED. Not that over there. Uh, might as well grab my caps. Uh, 
one's a 470 and the other one is a 100 this is the 100 here here's a 470 Whoop. that's a 470 oh and here's the voltage regulator right here I already put it on a heat sink it's, I, I put it on the heat sink first because it takes me a while because my hand shakes a little bit to get that stupid thing in there. All right, let's keep going here. Let's uh, pop in this resistor. Pop in the LED. Make sure you put the LED in right. They are unforgiving. Right, got that in there. That's all the solder I got left. Hope it's enough. Check them out again. Everything looks good. All right, let's pop in the regulator. Let's see how I'm going to do this here to keep that in there. I hate a messy board. I like everything kind of neat. Oh, clean that tip up. Give that a check. Yep, there. Oh, wait a minute. That needs a little bit more on this one here. Yep, that's nice and clean. Okay, that's in. All right. So let's go with uh, let's go with that big old cab. Let's go with the 470. Again, make sure you put it in the positive side, anode and cathode. Put that in the right direction. And I might as well put this one in there too while I'm at it. some stability Okay, 
caps are in there. All right, let's pop on the pop on the output. And as you can see, that is all I got left for solder. So I am not going to put in, these are just some auxiliary outputs. What I do is I just cut, cut these pins, pop them in there, and it gives you five additional outputs. But it has, has nothing to do with the operation of this. So now, let's try it out. Let me grab my meter. Let's put this on the output side. Oh, that's an input. That's the wrong one, huh? Now just screw this down onto my meter. Too good. Okay, we'll put that on 20, 20 volts uh, DC, and I've got a uh, 16 volt 20 VA transformer. So let me pop that in on the input side. some power all right so we got our LED going and the output is 11.83 11.83 gentlemen and that's all there is to it and that is how you build a LM 7812 voltage regulator and then the uh, it's a what do you call that a breakout board for it that's all there is to it thanks for watching guys hope you have a good day